everyone, the CD Spin here. If I Can Make It Go Quiet is the debut album of Norwegian singer-songwriter Groen Red, who has a surprising cult fan base despite the fact that she's only re released a few singles in all of her career. Most notably the song We Fell In Love In October, which I'm generally a fan of for its amazing chorus, very lo-fi, very sort of indie. So generally, coming into this, I had uh, some pretty positive thoughts about Girl in Red. Um, she has released a few singles, most notably Serotonin and Midnight Love. So coming into this, I wasn't really expecting that much terribleness, but I got more than I expected. The opener Serotonin starts very quickly and I guess abruptly um, with that rough yet nice smooth feeling that Girl in Red is very good at. And then goes pretty off the rails at the 40-ish second mark. And she's almost rapping at that point. Although the song has very little in the way of flow. Although I do think it is very nice, smooth. Which, like I said, is what Marie, Girl in Red, is really good at. Although the production doesn't really help the song that much. It's kind of rough, but not in a way that it's really meant to be rough. It just sort of sounds like that and it doesn't really, you know, fit with the song. And for the opener, I think it's good with those pessimistic lyrics, but I don't know. The in as an introduction to the whole album, it works fine, but just not my cup of tea. Did You Come uh, is the second song. Not much of importance here. It is dreamy and kind of echoey. Uh, quick, snappy, and which is what Maria's best at, like I said. Um, and the production is still kind of iffy, but it does get better. It is very rum rambunctious. Body and Mind starts off with like a piano-like number, and I do think it sounds nice, and I do think it works better than the other songs on the album, so far at least. I don't think it's that great, simply because it doesn't flow that well. Despite flowing better, it doesn't flow as well as I wish it would. Next, we go into a horny lovesick mess, and this song is very nice. Um, It gives me like this kind of Christmassy feeling. And the lyrics are about longing and uh, longing for love and sex. Uh, the bass is a key here, and so is, are the drums and the beat. Um, the ending is cloudy yet compelling, uh, sort of confusing. It is sweet, melancholic, and overall great and a high point of the album. Midnight Love starts with, I think, is a guitar, but I'm not so sure. Uh, and then it goes into this nice piano, which is very soft and pleasing to the song. However, the vocals are still as echoey as ever. The beat is quite soft, and then it gets continually more boring and boring as it goes on. Just kind of bland until the end. Although, I will say, the production keeps getting better. Then the song, You Stupid Bitch. I'm not insulting you, don't worry. The song, You Stupid Bitch. The song starts quickly, and the guitars and drums are punchy and stand out to the tracks. And like I said before, this is another standout track. I love the line. Uh, if I can pull it up, you stupid bitch, can't you see? The perfect one for you is me. Uh, that's just a great line, and I feel like it's funny. And around the two minute mark, uh, whenever they put in the bass line, the song gets better. The song does not overstate its welcome, and it's definitely better in production, and it's another high point. Next is Rue, which is definitely great. Um, I like how uh, Girl in Red ends up whispering towards the end, and that punchy, punchy melody is just great. Apartment 402 is boring-ish, and there's not a lot of significance in this track uh, to the whole album. I feel like if it were removed, I think we'd be much better off. <laughs> and it does pick up later, but I just feel like it's not as good. Although I will say the production is probably the one that I can point to being like, yeah, the production is much better here than before. The song Dot, which I don't like whenever they add like symbols and stuff to song names like just symbols i feel like that's a little weird and the song dot or period i don't know what what else you would want me to say but um it is pretty cloudy i like the guitar at the beginning but other than that there's just not too much that happens call you mine isn't that interesting and i keep forgetting it even though i've listened to it like four times now um just not very interesting and then the next it would feel like this. The album ends in what is like a short interlude, but like at the end of the s end of the whole album, which starts off with what you think is just going to be a standard piano song, but then drifts off into violin. While Marie obviously has talent and stuff, 
I feel like this album feels like a mess of ideas and kind of cool vibes that sometimes work as standalone tracks. But overall, they're kind of a concoction of unorganized thoughts that seem artsy and cool, but just don't stand out that much. What do you think about this album? Um, did you like how I reviewed it? Um, if you didn't like my review at all, you can dislike. I won't get mad. I won't get angry. Um, but if you did like the review, please do consider liking and subscribing for more reviews about Girl in Red or whatever. See ya.